Hello dear students, I am Assistant Professor Smita More from Marathwada Institute of Technology, Aurangabad. Today we are going to discuss about Benbridge Mass Spectrograph. It is useful for determination of isotopic masses of different nuclei. Now firstly, what do you mean by mass spectrograph? It is used to separate different isotopes from a stream of positive ions. Now what do you mean by isotopes? Isotopes means atomic elements which are having same atomic number but different atomic mass number. So we can also say that Mass spectrograph is an instrument for analyzing ionized particles by passing them through electric and magnetic fields, typically designed to focus the particles of equal mass to a point where they are detected. Now, this is the typical diagram for the study of Benbridge mass spectrograph. Now here there is a positive ions of different mass and speed means here there is a source of positive ions and the positive ions enters through the slit S1 and S2. After that velocity selector circuit is there. Then the ions passing through the slit S3 enter inside the vacuum chamber and finally hit the photographic plate. So, this one is the diagram for study of Benbridge mass spectrograph. Now, the construction of Benbridge mass spectrograph. It is mainly consists of three important parts. Firstly, the ionization chamber. Secondly, velocity selector circuit. And third, vacuum analyzing chamber. Now, how ionizing, ionization chamber works? It is used to ionize the gas whose mass or isotope is to be determined and positive ions are produced. So the main function of ionization chamber is to produce a stream of positive ions. Then second important part is velocity selector. Now here the electric and the magnetic field both are applied perpendicular to the moving ion B. A potential difference V is applied between the two electrodes to produce electric field and a magnetic field is applied at right angle to the electrostatic field. So the electrostatic and electromagnetic force act in opposite direction to each other. Third important part is vacuum analyzing chamber. Vacuum chamber is also called as analyzing chamber. Actually it is a semi-spherical cavity in which another magnetic field B is applied to the perpendicular moving positive ion. Now working of the Benbridge mass spectrograph. Here, a beam of positive ions produced in a discharge tube and is collimated into a fine beam by two narrow slits S1 and S2. This fine beam enters into a velocity selector. The velocity selector allows the ions to a particular velocity to come out of it by the combined action of electric field as well as magnetic field. The velocity selector mainly consists of two parallel plates P1 and P2 which produce uniform electric field E and an electromagnet is used to produce the uniform magnetic field with strength B. In the previous diagram the magnetic field is represented by the dotted circles. These two faces are right angles to each other and as well as to the direction of beam. The electric field and the magnetic field are 
so adjusted that the deflection produced by one fluid is nullified by the other so that the ions do not suffer any deflection within the velocity selector let capital e and capital b be the electric field intensity and b is the magnetic field induction respectively means e is electric field capital e is electric field and capital b is the magnetic induction where q be the charge on positive ions the force exerted by electric field is equal to q into e means charge into applied electric field the force exerted by magnetic field is equal to b q v where again q is the charge on positive ions b is the strength of applied magnetic field and v is the velocity of positive ions now here in velocity selector circuit we know that the electrostatic force is nullified by the electromagnetic force means the electrostatic force and the magnetostatic force are equal and opposite which act together or simultaneously so we can write qe is equal to bqv here qq get cancelled so we will get v is equal to e by b so only those ions having velocity v pass out of the velocity selector and then through the slit s3 and enter inside the evacuated chamber d so only mono velocity ions are selected mono velocity means what the ions which are having one and the same velocity v is equal to e upon b all other ions are get rejected so this is the speciality of benbridge mass spectrograph that only mono velocity ions are get selected now these positive ions having same velocity are subjected to another strong uniform magnetic field of induction b dash it is again right angles to the plane of the paper acting inward these ions are now deflected along circular path of radius r and strike the photographic plate because of the application of perpendicular uniform magnetic field the ions are get deflected from their original path and traverse the circular path the force due to the magnetic field is we know that bqv force due to magnetic field is bqv which provides the centripetal force we represent the centripetal force as mv square upon r where mass m is what mass of positive ions now we can also write the magnetic field produce the centripetal force so bqv is equal to mv square divided by r so r is equal to mv here v and v get cancelled so one v is remaining so mv upon bq b dash q so here we know the velocity of positive ions all the velocities of positive ions are constant mono velocity ions are selected so v is constant q means what q is the charge on positive ions so charge on positive ions is positive it is again constant we have the value of applied magnetic field so the strength of applied magnetic field is again constant so r means what radius of circular path so the radius of circular path is directly proportional to m means mass of positive ions in this way the positive ions are get separated the ions with different masses stress the semi circular path of different radii and produce the dark line on the plate 
the distance between opening of the chamber and the position of the dark line gives the diameter 2r from which radius r can be calculated. Since we know the value of b, b dash, e and r are known, the mass of the positive ions and hence the isotopic mass can be calculated. This is how the Benbridge mass spectrograph works. Thank you.